Last time I played this game, it was known as Mystery Mask The Lost Soul. It is now known as Soul Mask. I think it's a better name. It's a bit more catchy. This is a creator beta, creator beta? Test server. We've got Whack on here, Kieran Fires on here. They'll be making videos, which is really good for the game because it will bring a wider audience to the game. If you yourself would like play-by-play -play updates, feel free to click the link in the description to the Discord. Lots of awesome friendly people in there that can answer lots of questions and uh, you can see live updates of what they're doing and stuff as well. And go along to Steam and wishlist it if you so desire so you can be notified when it does go live. As I was very primitive last playthrough, I started off a lot more deep into the game because, well, the, bo the, 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 the beginning of the game is a little bit boring if I could speak. We've got all these different things, so many different things. I'm going to go through a bunch of them in this series. How to get llamas how to get metal, where to find metal, how to get your th followers, almost called them thralls, wrong game. And once you have your followers, how to do stuff with them, because it's not really forthcoming with this type of stuff, but you can go and access these guys and level them up and do all sorts of cool stuff, which is fun. They can reach masteries, which is also fun. This person is currently doing some farming for me, so hmm, I think I probably want crop fertilizer use down because I I have low fertilizer at the moment. Yeah, you can set different crafting bonuses to your followers, which is cool because they actually get higher levels than what you do for the most part. And depending on what different one you get, they can have even higher stats again. So that's just a little bit of a look-see into these guys. And your stats work pretty much the same way too. And you can assign them to benches to do your work for you, to upkeep your camp for you. That's quite fun. And to even fight and do other stuff, gather things for you and they level up as they go. I recently gained myself an alpaca and we are going to go find ourselves some copper because I'm running super low and I need it to repair like my everything. So to get to copper you need to head up to here. It's um kind of near a big pyramid well far away from the spawn area. Kind of near this barbarian barracks which is also where you'll find some llamas quite easily but we'll go into that a little later. I'm going to set a marker because that makes it easier for me to see where I'm going. I'll set it like that and like that and then we confirm and then I'll be able to see that. I could also name it if I want but I know what I'm going towards so that's fine. Stuff can attack you in the water. Be careful. My dude swims like a champion though. Bunch of alligators and stuff around. Make sure, yep, we all good. If you want to do some farming, there's also a nice way to do farming rather than having to gather the seeds yourself. A bunch of the thrall camps actually have props at them that you can gather. So we'll look at that a bit later too. If you happen to find these rotting carcasses on the beach, they're good to chop up because they give you a whole bunch of other cool things. Obtained beast hide, um, large quantities of other stuff. I got some XP. We'll take it. There is likely going to be crazy stuff that um you can't fight while you're on the mount. If you have certain mask skills unlocked, you can press Q to do a bit of a highlight situation. So you can see if any nasty things are going to sneak up on you. Although this guy is pretty damn quick. There is a way up somewhere along here. It does use mask energy, but you can upgrade your mask energy and also refill it with certain different crystals. Whoa. Oh, okay. So you also don't want to jump off cliffs with these guys. It's not advisable. We should be able to head just down and then they go up this side. So far, so good with nothing crazy coming out at us. Hopefully I haven't spoke too soon. These guys don't like to fall off cliffs too much. So we'll try to avoid doing that for sure. But I'm definitely booking it a lot quicker these days. I can fight this camp and potentially get stuff, but it does look like they're not here and someone else has got it. Possibly this person. Who be this person? Oh, it's like they're actually there. It's a big aggressive camp. I'm not sure why people build so big. You don't have to build so big. I'll give you a little base tool when we give back. I quite like how my stuff's coming along, although I do plan to move a bit further up here at some point. Now, there are a lot of thralls in here, so I have to be wary of that. He's got a decent amount of HP. I'm gonna get him to follow me. I don't know why he's not following me, but he can actually just stay there for now. Because I don't really want to get him killed here. These thralls or followers are a little bit smarter than your ones on Conan, if you're familiar with Conan. 
justified in saying that the AI is still a little janky at the moment also. You can steal their stuff and then you can also dismantle their stuff or wear their stuff. It's pretty handy. We also have some fun special moves. And you can also tame these guys and get extra stuff off them if you can be bothered. And then kill them. Get all their like armory bits. I cannot be bothered. But this is what we're after. This is the copper. There's also another huge thrall campy bit in there. Best to not let them get hits on you, but also don't run out of stamina. I don't want to call too many guys close all at once, so I'd like this one to actually come towards me. No? Okay. I'll go there. I'm going to do a little bit of healing because I don't trust myself not dying. When you craft stuff, also you may notice there's different coloured stuff. It's a little bit like Ark. There's different grades of quality that you can craft. The better stuff you are, probably the better you will craft. Or you can have multiple luck chances at crafting. Getting this ore is pretty decent XP. Any kind of ore really is though. Mining is really nice XP in general. You don't want to get too heavy, so watch your weight. Your weight is this number up here. And you can also auto sort your inventory for convenience. I wish there was more options on what you wanted in the way of sorting of your inventory and also maybe like crafting tabs here rather than just a search bar. I'd like this broken up more than like in here. That needs to be a bit more broken up. But aside from that, I quite like the crafting system so far. You can pop thralls and benches, do a bunch of cool things like that. Get them to level up in certain perks like I was showing you earlier, which is pretty fun. Sometimes you just get good thralls, followers. God damn, I'm going to do that a lot. Probably can't get a huge amount more, but I can always drop this stone. Because the fuller you get, the slower you run. I can pop some in my alpaca, who I will probably call a llama a bunch of times. Alan has fairly decent weight capacity, so he can hold a lot more than me, which is pretty nice. So I'll be able to go back and get some more. Sometimes you can find stuff just like lying around the outside, but a lot of people get that also because it's easier. These trees would be pretty decent for getting some logs. And it's best just to not have a whole bunch of these guys run up on you at once, because... They kind of suck. Especially if you're low level and you don't have good armor. Well, because sometimes these guys are just OP. Should show you trying to tame one. We'll see how we go with this one down here. Did I kill it or not? So the max awareness strength that I can get to is 37 and I'm currently 31 just in this beta test. And I do believe max level is level 40 because that's as high as I can get currently also. You basically have to get these guys down to a low... No! Come on. Ah! So annoying. I like it when they knock you down. Come up here. So yeah, you get them d down to a low amount and you don't kill them. That's why it's best to not spam because the AI and the fighting is just a little bit, a little bit whack at the moment, but we'll get there. I'm wearing fairly decent armor at this point because I've been getting copper. You also need tin and some silver, which you get some silver here. The tin mine is a lot of them are down south. There's some around here. And there's probably more that I haven't discovered also. Even if you can't hold all the ore, if you find it here, it is best to harvest it all and just drop some because that way you get extra levels. I can scan around and probably see for extra stuff and people just in the direction that you look. As you can see, I've got this highlighted because my mask level, this is your mask levels, which I'll explain at some point. I happen to have this unlocked and this and this and stuff. So the different stuff, perks you unlock, you get different perks, which is pretty cool. I like that everything's a bit unique. Even with this type of leveling, the way you master these things, weapons you use, you can't just chop and change like um, you might be used to in other games. I quite like the tailoredness of the character. Having a big tribe is beneficial for sure, or being a decent solo player and getting enough of those followers. You can definitely play this game as a solo player, definitely, definitely, but definitely those followers are, if I could say definitely enough, um, the followers are fundamental for being able to play this game 
game if you are going to be single player and it's going to be a bit of a slower start most likely most of the foods have buffs which is pretty cool i can press y and you can see those buffs depending on the different food you eat that's the only one i have currently oh no there's this one from my mount they give you different stuff i can probably call my mount from a distance but i'm not 100 sure oh let's go get more i'm a little bit scared of them getting hurt so that's why i'm just leaving them a little bit further back if i didn't mention that before I'm doing my notice us there. If you have bows and arrows, you can lure them over or even some of the different throwing weapons. I haven't been messing around with those too much though. But for a survival game, this is definitely itching on my needs and as well as fulfilling a few others. Like it's not just like I can pick up any survival game and this one fulfills it. I quite like the tailoredness of the followers and your character. I haven't even explored half the map. Like there's teleporters. I'll be able to teleport to PvP raid servers and stuff. Like that's pretty freaking cool. So whether you like PvP or PvE in a game, this game could be for you. I highly recommend checking it out. I'll mine a bit more of this oh, and then drop that one. Oh, he walked away. Okay, you can find boxes about that have some pretty OP stuff in it and destroying those barrels and shit gives loot. Oh, he might come. We might be able to tame one and show you. I don't know how he can't see me. Like, that's pretty crazy. He's blind. Come on, buddy. Whoa, he... Oh, there. And then you press E once they're low. And because he's bleeding, he died. So I didn't actually get the stuff. His thing actually bugged out pretty good. I didn't get anything. That doesn't even usually happen. But then again, they don't usually die whilst... Like, that's not normal. See, that's the inventory I'm looking for. And then all this stuff that you don't want, you just press V on and you can dismantle it or wear it yourself. You can get certain different cool stats from them. I just want to test out whether I can. No, I don't think I can destroy that. There's other stuff that I wish to test I can destroy in the village. But as it's gonna be dark soon, I should probably head back. Got a decent amount of ore. On the go, you can feed your alpacas some corn and put the water sack in there. Feed them some water if they need. They have a decent amount of food on them. So, to get some alpacas, we may run into a tiger also. Jaguar. We want to head around pretty far this way. Again, be prepared for a bit of a fight. There's The good stuff does not come too easy in this game. You can choose stuff to a degree. You can't really kite stuff to much stuff but you can a little bit just checking my path making sure no crazy shit is going to try and get me now this is definitely a spot i considered building it's pretty cool i'm gonna leave my alpaca just here and also like check out this spot make sure these are just rock rocks yeah but i quite like here and i might build a little basey thing i like the, the door park your alpaca up and be prepared for a fight i quite like that you can get multiple birds with one stone up here so we might even be able to sneak in without any of these guys seeing us but that's not really that likely plus i kind of want to kill them no annoyingly they always have archers oh guys with hammers are crazy so let's have a go at this okay that's how you tame them so you kill them if you want to kill them I don't think I'm going to get the tame on that one. You probably bleed out. Oh, and then you can kill them and get some extra whatevers. I need to go over here and heal. I'm just copying hits. Come on. I am in fact a bit lighter. So yeah, you can destroy these things for some weapons sometimes. That one didn't drop anything, of course. There we go. And weapon handles. These barrels you can get other cool stuff in. You don't always get a container. Let's try this and then they can't raise more alarms. But this is what I wanted to see if I could actually destroy. I think I can destroy that. Oh, it's a fully grown llama and then there's a baby one. 
So we're obviously looking for baby llamas because they're the ones that we can carry. The more noise you make, the more alarms that you could potentially trigger. I think there's a box right here. You can release the llamas and then pick them up. Do yourself a llama. You may even sometimes find jaguar babies. I'm not sure. I'm actually not even sure if we can um, carry this guy or not. That's a shitty ring. But if you don't want to carry him home, you can set him over here somewhere with some food. He'll wander around a little bit. You can put some pumpkins on him. Where'd he go? Lose him in the dark. And you probably want to go back and kill or gather the guy that, that you knocked out if you did. I don't think I killed him. Oh, feel free to tame them also. His recognition's already going up quite a bit. I have some mushroom soup so I could feed him that. Fuck it, let's tame him. Then you just pick him up and slowly carry them this way. The more full they are and the more full you are, the slower you will go. You can only feed them liquid food while they're in the coma, the follower. So breaking those jars in the village is kind of handy. I'm going to build a little thing here. I'm pretty sure I did mention that. So you will need a campfire and a carpenter's table pretty much straight away if you are building your first base. You don't really need to bother with the regular bonfire. The big campfire is definitely what you want because it actually stops you from getting building DK and you can spawn out. That's gosh darn handy. You also need to have a roof over your fire, otherwise it goes out, and out fire won't let you spawn at it. So just to start off with, I'm going to place some stuff here. You can also hold Z and get some options when there are options. There are no options with thatch. You can build square out of thatch or nothing. You can either build a little thing like that or just place it straight bang on the ground. I may have to move some shit more further away, we'll see. Because you can't build too close to them. Which can be a little bit annoying when trying to add a roof. See, none of these I can build near. <laughs> At least they. Okay, we'll put some here and apparently build another wall after my carpenter's bench. The higher grade stuff you have, the higher HP. The more HP goes down, the less time you have stuff in this guy. I'll have to put some sticks in there. You can also then set thralls to maintain this and they'll put stuff, cook food, do the things. We'll cook this for him so then he'll have some food. Or she actually didn't take note. You can also use this as a storage container. On PvE, no one else can touch it. Sometimes you have a random chance to craft multiple things as so, and the, also, if I could speak, the higher grade you are in something, like your proficiency, the more likely you are to craft those multiples. So that's fun. I have zero ceilings. Did I? What? Did I put them on the outpack or something? Or did I just craft no ceilings? <laughs> Need more thatch. Well, if you found this, me and talking today, if you found this entertaining, smash that like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and stick around for the next installment of Soul Mask. I'm very much looking forward to all y'all being able to play as well. It's going to be so much fun. I have high hopes for this game. I 10 out of 10 recommend. And like I mentioned earlier, check out that link in the description for the Discord and find them in the Steam page and add it to your wish list. The more the merrier. And until next time, I hope you have an excellent day, evening, night, morning whatever it may be wherever you may be have a good one